Assalamu alaikum. Today we will talk about the constant functions and the constant functions have the formula of f of x equals c. This is one of the simplest types of functions because actually there aren't any variables here. All what we have to know is the interval to which x belongs. Like when we say f of, f of x equals c, a constant for example 2, and x belongs to the set of real values, r. So simply, um, at any value of x, so that x belongs to r, y will equal 2. For example, when x equals 1, y equals 2. When x equals negative 1, y equals 2. When x equals 19, y equals 2. When x equals negative 8, y equals 2, and so on. So, to graph this function, all what we need to, to know is to know c, or the constant, and to know the interval to which x belongs. So, if we have a function, um, which is discriminated by two or three intervals, like f of x equals f of x equal 3 when x belongs to the interval of negative infinity to 1, open, and f of x equals 2 when x belongs to the interval of 2 closed to positive infinity. This is, this function is divided into two parts. This is the function number 1 and this is the function number 2. So to grab this function, we do the following. We draw our Cartesian product. Then we take the first part of the function, this one. So f of x or y will equal 3, so long as x belongs to the interval of negative infinity to 1 open. So the first thing we do is to see where the 1 is. Let's say it's here. This is the 1. And the second is to see where the 3 is. Let's say it's here. So that point will be the beginning of our um, line. Of course it will be opened because the 1 is not included in the interval here. And we will draw a ray going left because the interval is going that way. Let's see, if we take any value, let's say it's uh, negative 1, for example, at x equals negative 1, which belongs to this interval, we'll find that it corresponds also to 3. Um, so, to the second part, we just do the same as we did in the first one. We see where the 2 is. Then, uh, because this is the beginning of our interval, and it's opened, so it will be included in uh, the line that we'll see. Then, f of x equals 2, as um, x equals 2. So, let's say the 2 is here. So, this will be the beginning of our line. The line will be going to the right, because the interval goes this way, from 2 to positive infinity, and the 2 is included, because the interval is closed. So we will draw a ray going this way. So this is how to graph a constant function. Another example. Let's say f of x equals 1 and x belongs to negative 1 and 1. So We draw the Cartesian product. We plot negative 1 and 1. They are both included in the line. f of x equals 1. So the 1 on the y-axis is here. So this will be our function. 
and both ends are included because the interval is closed. Finally, we need to know some facts about the constant function. So, first, the domain of the function. The domain of the function is the interval to which x belongs. So, here, x belongs to the interval of negative 1, 2, 1, and it's a closed interval, so it's the same. This is the domain of the function. Second, the range. And the range of the constant function is always the point C. So here, the range is the point 1, because the range of, of any function is the part where it consumes from the y-axis, or the part which, is, which it consumes from the y-axis. For example, if we have a function like that, so this part will be the range. Here it's only one point, which is the constant that we have in our function, so the range here will be 1. Then, the monotonicity of the function, if the function is increasing or decreasing, or constant, of course the constant function is constant, because when we use any value of x, we get the same value of y, which is the constant, so it's a constant function. And finally, we need to know if the function is even, odd, or neither even nor odd. Uh, the constant function is an even function, and the concept of getting an even or odd function is, for example, when you say f of x equals x squared, so when we substitute with positive x, we get x of power 2. So it's the same value as that one. When we substitute with negative x, we get negative x squared. So when a number is squared, we get the positive value. So we get x squared. It's also the same value. At that point, this function is even. But if we substitute with negative x and get the negative value of the function, like if this is x cubed, so when we substitute with negative x, we will get negative x cubed. So this will be an odd function. And when we substitute with the negative uh, value, and we don't get the negative value of the positive f of x, we get another value. So this function is neither even nor odd. Let's see the situation in the constant function. When we substitute with the positive value of x, we get the constant. And when we substitute with the negative value of x, we also get the constant. So the constant function is an even function, because when we substitute with the positive and negative value, we get the same value of f of x. So that's it for today. Until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.